Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that music. It was such a weird one. And yes, we're starting up. This is game number two between Clan BF and Ikofku, the Turkish clan. So it's a map migration. <coughs> Migration, I've seen it a few times, you know, teams tend to do that, a lot of the teams do not tend to execute it properly. Yeah, let's see, and as I said earlier in the first game, it's a free pick save, so free save, free pick save system, so you can see the BFT team has gone for two Vikings and, excuse me, Persians, whereas the Turkish teams are Viking lines in Japanese. But two Vikings, I mean, come on, man. So, migration is if you guys don't know how it works, so you start with six sheep, no bows on the map, you, you get a, a deer patch, and then fairies, gold, and stone, some wood to get you going. You need to make docks, and your aim is to get to this main patch of land big massive plant in the middle uh, where all where most of the resources are uh, a lot of wood is there a lot of stone of gold sheep relics everything pretty much so yeah that's the aim so it's a water map you have to fight for the water try and get to the middle island try and take water control and then expand from you know from there and see how you get on so via Phillips is playing as Vikings and he is he's got a decent map sort of thing the skull can be harassed from the front but not too much uh, he is uh, very close to the mainland in here so he can get there but he's we'll see he will have to fight it out and if you look at how the map is set up, I mean, there is a bit of a gap between him and Yellow, who is his upper direct flank, and he is playing as Mayans. So uh, these guys will have to cover a lot of, you know, ground and water to get to each other and fight out. I mean, they can just get a transport ship and get there, but I would know it's not going to happen. Purple is playing as Japanese and he's the pocket once again. Nice lumber camp at the back. He's got nice gold in the front. Uh, Japanese, obviously, I like this dog. It's a really nice dog. Japanese fishing ships work faster. So, and he's got a lot of good fish close to this dog. So you can saturate these fish very, very quickly. It's going to be massive boom for him if it goes unharassed. And then we have Blue from finally from the Turkish team. He's got Dark right at the edge and his fishing ship seems idle. Now he's moved it. I, mm, it's not the best dock in the world. But if you look at his space, I mean, he could have done it here. But I mean, I think he will go further up here. I think the idea was that the mood, uh, the more you go towards the corner, the better, the more you can find big fish but unfortunately this did not happen in his case uh, unlucky I mean we can see a second dog coming up from him and somewhere here at some point so hopefully he will be good red uh, again not the best dog in the world I got, he's got one idle fishing ship which is moving now I wonder if these guys are stream cheating I mean every time I say there's an idle fishing ship they move it Anyways, yeah, again, not the best dog in the world, uh, so we might just see him dropping some another dog in this position. He's taking some berries already without a mill, I mean, and goldfish. And he hasn't pushed the deers to his base, so I think he's gonna be a bit far. He's gonna be a bit behind in terms of going up to the next stage. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's going, he's lacking food, he's on 23 pop he should have clicked up already and he's not gone on gold yet um teal persian pocket got a nice dog at the back two dogs in fact 
Both of them are pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if we can see any any Russian -y stuff from him, any galleys from him. He's probably gonna just try and get to the middle land, and I don't blame him for that if he does that. I mean, two players, you've got two Vikings either side of you, and they can just fight out on war and then you can take control on the mainland, boom, boom up, and then try to, uh, uh, you know, do some damage from there. Well, obviously, if you can't take water control in this map, it's not going to help you much with the access to the land. Anyways, both blue and uh, sorry, red and green are up to the field age first. Green is dropping another dog. Uh, it's two dogs only for him, and it's quite late to go for the second dog. Yellow is on two dogs, and he clicked up just now. I want to see if Green has scouted his opponent. Not yet. He hasn't. But these are really decent uptimes for these guys, in, you know, in terms of feudal times. Both Viking Slayer could have been better, could have been about 30 or 40 seconds faster, but nevertheless. Pablo is going up to feudal age. Now he's got his mill up. Um, I think it's a nice move. He's Japanese, so why not? Uh, he's got two, three docks going. He's going fourth dock up, and I think it's the fifth dock. Yeah, five docks going up from purple. I want to go to his point of view. He's going up to feudal age. He's got four on gold. He's getting five docks ready. To rock and roll. Wow. Ace red coming red. Some for, uh, galleys. Blue is on two, three docks at the moment. They're quite spread out. I like purple's dock positionings. They are at the back. Really good, big, really good fish for him in access, and at the same time. Uh, they are not too far apart from each other, so he can just mass his navy very quickly. But seems like he's just gonna go up to castle age first and then go probably heavier on fishing ships and fire ships. That's my guess. I could be wrong. What is Green doing? He is on a lot of docks. He's on four docks, if I'm not wrong. He's on four docks, getting a lot of galleys out. He's got two out in yellow space already. No fletching yet for him. Yellow with two galleys, and yellow has already landed. But is Green gonna see that? No, he ha he cannot see that. Because yellow just deleted his transport ship. That was a clever move. That was a very clever move. Green will never find out if yellow has transport in the middle or not. Wow. What's going on here? Red got galleys into blue's fish. And he is already sniping up some fishing ships. Purple is up to castle age. And he's doing galleys now. Sorry, he's going up to castle age. He's making galleys now. Oh. No fletching yet for him. Blues lose, losing a lot of fishing ships. He had a lot of fishing ships. He's lost about five now. And red's got a lot of galleys. He's got seven. And purple and blue combined have got six only. Oh my goodness. Hang on a second. Persia is slinging Vikings. How often do you see that? <laughs> Persia is slinging the Vikings player, red player, I mean, are you for real? This is a nice play from blue and purple, nice amount of galleys from them, and doing a really good job on the water, putting, keeping red at bay, yellow 
you know, he still seems to be finding the best spot for his next town center in the middle of the map. But he's got a lot of outputs going. And the good news for him is that he's alone, along with some wolves in this middle land. But Persia can't really sling, you know, he can't really go on slinging for too long without the ability to get into the main land because this wood is going to run out very soon for him. This wood is going to run out very, very quickly. And once he's out of gold, what is he going to do next? So, and the yellow, who is already in the middle land, can actually get the control, control in the middle land, can drop some castles there, get some, uh, you know, town centers going there and be able to do a lot of damage. So this is not the ideal move in my opinion, but I'm not gonna have a definitive say on that. We'll see. We, we know how things can turn around. So well, let's see if Vikings can make the most of this sling that he's getting. If he can go up to Imperial Age really quickly and uh, get the galleons upgrade, get the ballistics and everything else and take control of water, kill the blue and purple here before they are able to get to the mainland and yeah I mean we can see a yeah, turn around yellow dropping a castle in the middle land I like this castle I like this castle because if red or patil will transport they're most likely to get around in this position and there you go red is going up to castle age uh, sorry imperial age as i said he is going up to imperial age and mm, dogs are idle he should be just making you know he just should be just constantly making these war galleys all the time he's got 28 military purple and blue got 20 combined and this is not looking good for them 2v1 this is not looking very good for them war galley upgrade coming up from purple why is he taking this fight this is a very very bad fight for them ay 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 37 military combined between blue and purple versus 29 of red they can definitely take this fight now they can definitely take this fight oh no why is purple being done there seems to be a miscommunication going on misunderstanding going on between purple and blue they really should have been taking the fight now ballistics is done for red i mean they should try and kill this navy from red i mean before he gets the galleon upgrades get to the imperial age what is uh, Kim Ku doing? Is he dropping a TC? Yes, he has done that. He's taking gold already. But mm, he's only on 40 pop. He's on 37 villages. Oh, and Green is coming now from the right side. And he's going to kill a lot of eco. Of purple, this is gonna be very, very dangerous for this Turkish team. We might just see a game now. I mean, purple is out of wood, he's got a transport ship out. Will he be able to transport these villages in the middle land? I think he should be fine because green is right on the other side. Galleon upgrade coming up from red. He is waiting for the upgrade to kick in. Now blue and purple are chasing red because they want to kill as many of these galleys as they can. But it is not gonna happen. Red is matching the numbers. Oh no, where is purple gone? Oh my god, what is this man? Ay 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 ay. Purple just went back completely with his navy left blue alone now red has got galleons green is there killing all the incoming war galleys from purple purple has managed to get to the m middle land but this tc is really risky i mean 
There's 10, 11 tiles from the water. Oh, blue has landed as well. But you know, this is where the game starts to take a crazy, crazy turn because if you lose water, this control of the middle land is not going to really help you because of the fact that you won't be able to get out. You know? But at the same time, if they can just take control of this, if they can keep all of this main land you know strongly then this is gonna hurt this bf team because teal is running very very low on wood he needs to transport and there is a transport ship from him and he has a scout uh, oh but there's a gg incoming from the turkish team Where is Teal Scout gone? I think he lost it. More and more Thompson is coming up in the middle for the Turkish team. Crazy is up to Castle Age. He has lost his scout over there. He's still able to sling. <laughs> somehow. I mean, he's still got a lot of gold left in this gold pile. There's still about 2,000 gold left in there. But, again, the question is... How much can they achieve from this... Access to the middle land? I mean, the red can get cannon galleons out he can take this i mean th this castle down pretty easily he can take down this town center easily he can place the galleons in on the edges of the land and you know deny them any access to to the edges and uh, slowly and surely drop the village in there and start the push Well, I could be crazy. I, I could be crazy, you know, because I'm... it's not it's not over yet. You know, I don't think it's over. I think I think the the Turkish team still got a lot in left in them. It's all about get, getting it together and keeping themselves going. Purple, I like it. He's dropping more and more town centers. He's already got three there. He's dropping four TC there. Well, the unfortunate bit is that he's got a lot of villages here. He's got a lot of gold left on his mainland, uh, in his starting island, which he cannot take. So he is going to take a bunch of villages, ab about 15, 20 of them. He must have lost a lot more than that. Here is going up to Imperial Age. And green is going up to Imperial Age. They're probably going to just scare them off. You know, but green is there. He has landed there. Green has spotted him. So yellow has spotted him. And green is eating some rams. He's doing mangonel. Rams coming up from yellow. Teal has landed as well. He's getting some knights out. He's dropping a TC right on the edge. Blue's got two town centers, purple's got four TCs, yellow's got three TC in the middle, but hmm. This could hurt them, you know. This could hurt them. They don't have any army here. And they don't even have any monasteries that I can see to convert these knights. Okay, he can see the knights now. Nice quick conversion from Akimku. But he's not up to Imperial Age yet. That's the problem, you know? 
It's not between pillage. Brad can land here or here. Put more pressure on them. They can just get to their islands and take their gold mines and stone mines. I mean, this is weird. This these imperial age from green and purple could just scare them off. Make them call the GG. I mean, from teal and green. I mean, red is slinging. <clears throat> teal and green now and as you can see teal is dropping more and more stables yellow is there no bloodlines yet for him onica upgrade coming up from green Ooh, la, la. where is guy gone man just drop more barracks just get more upgrades on your plumes Teal does not have a destructive army at the moment. He's getting cavalier upgrade, but he does not have a lot of numbers. So, you know, he can just keep this push going. Green, however, could be a trouble for Teal. So, it's for Green. Oh my god, I keep mixing it. Green could be a trouble for Yellow. What is going on with purple and blue? It seems. Oh, hello, Cannon Galleons. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't think we're gonna see the end of this game. Warm Bone Bags coming up from purple and... From purple and purple. He's gonna lose this town center. He's been pushed away from this gold, so he can't take that gold mine as well. Um, he's probably in castle in the middle. Barracks up for him. Not enough resources to go up to Imperial Age. Akim Ku can either try to fight Green or he can just fight Teal. And at the moment, he's just focusing on Teal. But he's still in Castle Age. This looks over for the Turkish team. I mean. They are so far behind for Imperial Age, all of them. Yeah, it's got 1500 stone, 1400, 1500 gold, but no food. His, uh, his castles are idle, he's not really making much. Crabs are out from green, he's gonna lose his castle, he's not really repairing it. Um, purple. 102 pop for him. Being pushed away from gold. Cavaliers are incoming into blue space, and this is a forward. Was a castle from Persia? Yes, and. Castle is gonna go up from Persia. He's dropping more and more stables. He's got. For at the moment, he's got to drop a siege workshop. Blue, I would like to see purple. Let's click up in pillage. That's good. What about blue? Uh, a lot of food for him, lacking some gold to click up, but he's still he's on 74 pop only. Green is going for the champion root and on it goes. And yeah, how is yellow going to fight everywhere? This is so unfortunate for him. Yeah, there's no way they, they can come back in this game, in my opinion. Oh, big on a good shot, ground shots, kill the pike. No, Canyon Guardians. On water, crabs on it champions and cavaliers on land. There is absolutely no stopping the BF team. I think they have done really, really well in this whole map of this. Still can't go up to Imperial Age. Yellow, unfortunately, he's floating a lot of food. Sorry, a lot of wood and gold. No siege workshop for him. 
He's got two castles. He's lacking food to go up. He could just use market and take up, you know, and that could just make the game more interesting. Uh, purple, very low on food, very low on gold, including a lot of gold, a lot of wood, sorry. He is making some pikes. He is housed. And. The BFT, I mean, they're all on very good pop, on very good resources. They, they slung red early on to take the control in, on water, and then red just slung them on land. Red just slung green and teal back so they can do the damage on land, and that's exactly what is happening here. A lot of resources available to DBF team. Can we get a big on a good shot? Ooh, so close. Finally, I think he's going up to the village, but he's losing his castles. He's down to one castle and one castle only. Blue's got 1500 stone. He should just sling it to someone. You know, it's, it's it's not ideal. I mean, he's on 72 pop. He's making some units. What what units is he making? Is he making pikes? Yes, he is. Yeah, yellow is down to just one castle, and I think this castle is going to go down very quickly as well. Onigas are coming from green. Can we see? Big shots before he goes up to Imperial Lane and get the Elite Bloom upgrade. No, 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 no! Oh no, this is a big shot. They can't even shots, kill him! Is he doing another castle somewhere? I mean, I don't see it. There you go, that's the GG coming up. And that's the GG call by the Turkish team. Well played, DFT. This is all square now. 1 1. Very well played.